apparently Marvel Studios has a ton of unannounced projects that it's to the point where the people on that worked on the Falcon and Winter Soldier were like, oh, you guys don't even know about the unannounced stuff. I guess I can't really talk about it. It's like, wait, what? How so much- well, funny that it's unannounced. How can we know? <laughs> I wonder. Like, you people always say, "Oh, Kevin Feige's just lying. He's not planning ten years out." Oh, yes, he is. I was gonna say, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Like, like it. It goes all the way back to those reports for when they announced Guardians of the Galaxy, and you hear how James Gunn came in and he was like. Oh, when I met for Guardians of the Galaxy and we made that a reality, Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2 were already like, this is how it all builds up to this. And that was like seven years out. So, like, that's... Why is it hard to believe? you you, You don't do something like this without having it planned out. Like, if you... Even without knowing exactly how they do it, just look at everyone else that's tried to copy them. Yeah, the MonsterVerse hasn't got a plan. Look what happens. DC didn't have a plan. Look what happens. Dark Universe didn't have a plan. Look what happens. Yeah. Like you have to physically and actually plan this out and plan it out well, and then commit. And and that's the thing. Like they did it from the beginning. They committed to. Yeah. You know this idea that they had and like it worked out so hearing oh there's a ton of unannounced projects i'm like well, yeah of course there are like i i should hope so yeah it's... and i'd also hope one of them better damn will be iron man for i swear to christ i mean probably that i mean you you know that this whole thing is like half of that chart now is just x-men and mutants like... and the fantastic four yeah yeah because those are so you, can, you can kind of you can check the obvious ones off. Like yeah, I can't imagine that Jane Foster Thor's are one and done. Mm-hmm. I, I can't believe that. So you're gonna get a four, five, and a six. You're gonna get a Captain America five and a six. I'm praying to God you get Iron Man four, five, six. You're gonna get a Guardians four. Let's be honest. Whether that comes twelve years from now, who knows? You're gonna get that. You got Doctor Strange three. You got Captain Marvel two, three. You got Black Panther three, and then undoubtedly four, five, six of those. Yeah. And that's just the the obvious ones that we've had that we've got now. Not to mention, you know, where's Miss Marvel going to go? Because you, you're clearly going to get a sequel series to some of these Disney Plus shows. There's no way Miss Marvel's a one and done or yeah, Moon Knight no, 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 no. or Hulk. I mean, Ugo or even P. Hawkeye. Hawkeye's nowhere worried though. Loki, we know, has got a second season coming. Yeah. I can't imagine they go forward without doing a one division and Falcon and Winter Soldier too. Yeah, exactly. Like there's, there's so much that they're planning out, and I mean, to tie it all the way back around to something we talked about way too long ago, it feels like at this point. But like, you look at them reacquiring all the Netflix characters. Yeah. I mean, Where do they fit in? Like that's. That's the thing. Like you can literally. We're getting a lot. Yeah. <laughs> We're get... You think it's a lot now? I also forgot Black Widow two and three because they ain't gonna have Florence Pugh for one and done. That's true. She's she's not gonna be a side character any longer. Black Widow's gonna be a franchise. You got oh, hopefully Eternals two and three. You got Shang Chi two and three. Oh boy. Uh, it, you you just think of things and it did. I mean, add, added Daredevil, Jessica Jones. Actually, Jessica Jones is probably going to be a uh, supporting character in things, they, I reckon. They are moving in the direction of, and they teased this before. I remember back in the day, they were like, we're going to move to two movies a year. And everybody was like, no. Then they're like, we're going to do three a year. And then people still disbelieve them. Now they're up to the point where they're doing four. I'm honestly expecting the point where we'll get four to five. Like, that's. Yeah, yeah. On top of like 10 seasons a year of yeah. different shows. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so you got Blade 2 and 3. Oh, Lord. You, I can literally just stop talking and then come up with something else like 10 minutes later. Like, there's just too much stuff. <laughs> Fantastic 4, 2, and 3. I mean, we're probably going to yeah. roll Blade 2 into Blade and the Midnight Suns or something, you know? like Yeah. yeah. There's, it's clearly going to be a Young Avengers somewhere down the line. Thunderbolts. Like a, a Patriot, Patriot Thunderbolts, yeah. yeah. Maybe a Dark Avengers thing. Like, it's, there's a lot. 
there's a lot coming. Like it's, I'm, and that's the thing. Everything we just listed, you can't tell me that Kevin Feige's not like three Blade movies. If we do one every two and a half years, blah blah blah. Oh, here's how far out we are. And again, here's another one we didn't even mention: Deadpool. Oh yeah. <laughs> Christ, he's so off my radar. That's, I completely forgot about that. Like, yeah. I still find yeah. it hard to believe people are like, well, they only announced two years. They're not going to tell you the next 10 years. Come on. Like, yeah. In two years, you got that much. Yeah. <laughs> two years we're getting this much. This is honestly going to be... I, I think they've realized they, they can't put out this much content with it all being... The, not the same, but they, they can't risk going forward with having people be like the Marvel formula. Right. You're obviously going to have to have that Marvel element in there. It's an action movie in the day. you got to have a big action fight. But the difference between One Division and Falcon is night and day. Yeah. And you that's... can kick that with literally everything and mix up. No one's going to give a shit if it's a superhero movie. Exactly. Anymore. And I'm kind of also looking at the whole, um, like, the output, right? If you look at 2021... If you combine everything in 2021, there is more content in just the hours than the entire rest of the MCU combined. Right? That's a lot of content. Well, I mean, you have to combine everything that's coming out by the end of the year. So, All right. So, One Division was what six hours. Falcon was six hours. That's twelve. How long was the MCU? Oh god damn, I can't remember. Actually, no, you're right. Actually, yeah, you you you've virtually done phase one and two just by those two shows alone. Yeah, it's right. I mean, it's yeah. hour for hour. They are getting up there, and it's not ending. And you're combining all these other movies, and it's a huge output. And the thing is that you look at the whole lineup, and you realize, well, damn, like it's yeah. it's evolving, and you can tell that X Men will have their films, they're going to have TV series to spin off. Fantastic Four, I don't see how you don't spin no. that off into a, no. you know, future foundation as well. So especially series. if you've got all the kids, like, come on, it's right. A future foundation series is right there. Mm -hmm. It's right there. It's crazy. It's, yeah. He, the, and, oh my God, we didn't even mention this. Black Panther is expanding into the whole Wakanda's multiple oh, shows. Oh, crazy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you got the world of Wakanda. Yeah, I could. I totally forgot. About see, that see thing. what I mean? You just have to think, <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, I forgot that that thing's been announced." Like it's, it's ridiculous. It is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, it's. Yeah. They're either gonna have to expand a lot. Yeah. Or the wait between, say, like a Guardians two and the three, is gonna become the norm. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be like that. Don't expect... I mean, also remember, we're getting the Guardians Holiday Special and a cartoon, and they, That's true. they teased That's true. spin offs for Guardians into the TV direction as well. So, And the Guardians you, is You not can ending. rule out Drax for that. You can rule out Drax. Yeah. <laughs> and that, unless Batista's like just downplaying everything like really well, yeah, he drags it out. <laughs> uh, it's, it's looking good. It's a nice, big future tons of content that's probably going to be amazing we'll be doing this when we're old men just like uh, hey, <laughs> i remember iron man one <laughs> i remember 2008 uh, I love the kids at the time will be using their i don't know hoverboards listening to this <laughs> in their deloreans with their tie-up shoes <laughs> Damn. It's only 30 years late, but they got them. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll be out here. Back in my day, we only got 18 hours worth of MCU content <laughs> in a year. You kids now getting that every month. The the, the, the then 10-year-olds game, but like, man, these holographic heads in jars are really mad about something. <laughs> What's a Snyder Cut? <laughs> what is it? Actually, people would still be like, begging for that. Well, by then, it's going to be like a Star Trek and Futurama. It's just become a religion. <laughs> it yeah. will officially have happened. It's just like, what? Yeah. It's...